NWR making headlines off track. Not the kind they'd like, yeah, Adam. Napa announced yesterday they will not return to Michael Waltrip Racing next season. Larry, we want to get your take on this in a minute. First, here's what Michael had to say this morning in Loudoun. Martin, I, I talked to him yesterday. We met with all the folks at MWR, and um, you know, a race car driver has to know what his deal is next year. It's been that way ever since I was a kid. You know, what, what's, what's the deal for next year? And so, obviously, there's there's a lot of uh, concern. We asked if, um, if if we could have a bit of a little time to try to figure this out, and um, he he agreed to that. And um, and if he came to me tomorrow and said I got a deal to go do something, then obviously um, I would not hold him back. But what I would like him to do is hang around so we can attract a sponsor and keep him, keep him in our cars. Larry Knapp has been with Michael Waltrip since 2001. We've heard reports they had a $15 million commitment, maybe more invested into that race team. How devastating of a blow is this for MWR? Well, Danielle, when you think about it, when you look throughout that garage here, there are very few sponsors that are on the race car every single week as a primary sponsor. Napa Auto Parts is one of those. And you heard Michael Waltrip say it. It's kind of a, you know, you're in a box because we're getting late in the game. Big companies are setting their budgets right now for 2014, and you have to have a sponsor to make sure that your driver stays around, but you have to have a driver to attract the sponsor. And ju just don't forget, and I've already heard some rumblings in the garage area this morning, that 78 car, Furniture Road, they still have not filled that seat with a driver for 2014. So uh, those who wait, things good will come their way. So you just never know what might happen over the next few weeks. And Larry, mm -hmm. that's exactly where I was going. Gut feeling. Where do you think Martin Truex Jr. is behind the wheel in 2014? Well, I think he will give MWR a little bit of time. I think Martin Trick Jr. is just that type of a person, but I don't think he can wait around long, especially when you look at the fact of a race car that's fast every week. They're in the chase. He was fastest in practice today, but that 78, they have a seat that's open, and I think Martin Trick Jr. and Todd Barrier would be a great match over there working together. We certainly do hope things work out at Michael White's Racing, but there's a seat there for him, I think, if he possibly wants it.